that's the main challenge to libertarianism. I think that's the challenge it really has to face. What I've tried to argue is that we must resist the dichotomy determined or random. Um, and the best way I think of, of doing that is to recognize the specialness of the category of action. Um, I think actions are a very, very special kind of event. Um, I don't think, I mean, what some people say at this point is that actions don't have causes. And I think that's sort of along the right lines, but it isn't quite what I want to say. Um, I think actions can have, as it were, causal influences. There can be causal influences on action. I can be causally influenced by, for example, reasons to do a certain thing rather than a certain other sort of thing, or by my desires or certain other sorts of things. So that it's, it's not right, I think, straightforwardly to say actions have no causes, but I do think actions don't have deterministic causes. But because they are actions, <laughs> because they are actions, um, they are not random either. Um, they stem from, they are the self-determining kind of, um, what's the, I don't quite know what to say except to use the word action again. They are instances of self-determination, if you like, um, on the part of a human being or other animal. I mean, I extend my view of agency to at least a substantial portion of um, the higher animals as well. Um, so what I want to say is that just because they're actions, they're not, they're not at all like random events. Um, they are the self-determining acts of agents, and that makes them non-random in and of itself. Um, but they aren't determined by prior event-like or state-like causes. They're determined by the animal agent. Um, something like that is what I want to say. So the, the resistance is at the very start to the, well, any old event has got to be either determined or random. I want to say, no, there is, there's a third way. It can be an action. It can be an action. It can have the distinctive causal pro profile that an action has of stemming from the agent. And that's what's, that's what's really crucial and essential to an action is its, is its rootedness in the agent.